Several survivors have criticized President Trump. Now the White House says he will hold a listening session with students this week. The president is also showing support for attempts to improve the federal background check system. White House correspondent Mark Irons reports. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Wyatt. The president backs the effort behind a bipartisan bill that would penalize federal agencies that fail to provide background records. But today, outside the White House, protesters are calling for more to be done. More than anything, we just want the politicians to know that they have to do something because they're the voice of the people. Eleanor Nectarline, a junior in high school, joined by dozens of students today laying down in protest, remembering those who were gunned down in a Florida school. I decided that it's finally time to do something myself because no one else, none of the politicians seem to be doing anything about it. The protest in front of the White House came as President Trump wrapped up the long weekend at his Mar-a-Lago resort after visiting shooting victims and first responders in Broward County, Florida on Friday. The job the doctors did, the nurses, the hospital, first responders, law enforcement, really incredible. The question remains, how will the president, who enjoys strong support from the National Rifle Association, respond to all the gun violence? So far, he's signaled for upgrades to the federal background check database and the need to make sure those suffering with mental illness can't get a gun. This protester is calling for mandatory gun insurance for gun owners and a ban on bump stocks. We want our Congress to recognize that this is a public health issue. But past efforts to find solutions have caused fighting along partisan lines, and President Trump is already pointing fingers, tweeting, just like they don't want to solve the DACA problem, why didn't the Democrats pass gun control legislation when they had both the House and Senate during the Obama administration? Because they didn't want to, and now they just talk. In another tweet, the president blamed the FBI, saying they missed signals given by the Florida school shooter that he was going to carry out an attack. The president said the FBI has spent too much time trying to prove his campaign colluded with Russia and needs to get back to basics. Wyatt. White House correspondent Mark Irons reporting. Thanks, Mark.